Retro Movie Reviews with Mark and Billy. I'm not going to show you what movie it is yet. I'm going to jump right into like and subscribe, uh, follow us on Facebook, and uh, please comment. Uh, we've had a few commenters now. Give us criticism. You guys are uh, good. Let us know, I like it. Let us know if you disagree or agree with something we said. Point out inaccuracies. We appreciate it. Yep. Um, um, this is, yep, the, the only way we can get this video is better is if you guys tell us what we do and don't like. Yeah, is it and cool that the microphone's in the shot? No. I'm going to move that. Yeah. Sorry, guys. Unprofessional movie reviews. Unprofessional movie reviews. Uh, should we start all over or is that good? No, we're good. All right, we're good. Uh, and also, uh, tell us what movies you want us to do. We've been doing movies that are Oscar bait movies and movies that we know we might like or we know we might dislike. But if you guys have movies, regardless of how old they are, that you want us to uh, do a review on... Tell us. I probably have the DVD of it. I got a lot of DVDs, and so do you probably. In between the two of us, we've got Amazon Prime, Hulu Plus. Yeah, and yeah we got a lot of things. Netflix. All right, anyways, we're doing Richard Linklater's Boyhood. Now, if you don't know about Boyhood, it was filmed over 12 years. In Texas. In Texas. Uh, I made a gay Texas guy to take this. They would have killed me if they knew yeah. I was Um it was filmed over 12 years by uh, Richard Linklater, and he did uh, Days and Confused. Um, oh, yeah, sorry. Uh, the way this works, we do our positives, and then we do our negatives, and then we do our tailored review. Anyways, moving on. Um, I was going to give a little bit of background. Um, so uh, this movie's up for a shit ton of Academy Awards, including Best Picture. My opinion, it's going to get Best Picture. I don't think it deserves it over Birdman. But... Birdman, although I think it's a better film and a more entertaining film to watch, this movie and the hoops it jumped for and the things it did of you, filming over 12 years merits. Right. It merits. It's a, it's a labor. This yeah. movie was a labor. And, and okay, well, let's, we're about to go into our positives anyway, so let's jump into our positives. Uh, sh- I'll start. You yeah, st- go I'll ahead. Start. Um, biggest positives. Um, Surprisingly, my biggest positive, I think, in this movie regarding performances is Ethan Hawke. Yeah. Um, Ethan Hawke, there's a, there's a celebrity reads mean, mean tweets about them thing from Jimmy Kimmel, where Ethan, Cox, or Ethan Hawke, Ethan Hawke. <laughs> Ethan Hawke says, um, he reads a tweet that says, like, Ethan Hawke, it looks like one of those guys that wasn't supposed to be a movie star, but somehow slipped through the cracks and made it big. And <laughs> but he didn't I, really I, make I agree it that with that. Big. No, he, he's an A-list. And, is he? Yeah, he is. And um, I agreed with that um, because I have seen Ethan Hawke in a lot of things and I was never really all that impressed with him. Um, I think uh, Training Day was one of the only times where I actually really enjoyed a performance from him until this, Training Day. Well, he was in um, Dead Poets Society too. And I like that movie. I like every actor in that movie. Ah, yeah. I guess I paid less attention to him because of... You know, well, anyway, Rob Williams doing um, his thing. Patricia Arquette was good, um, and the guy who played Bill. Uh, did you look up his name? I didn't. Oh uh, no, I was going to do that. Thanks. Yeah, I'll do that right now because I'm going to talk Star about Cohen. him too. Um, the cinematography in the movie, um, they. I mean, it's different because the medium we watch is different than we usually watch movies on. We watched on Mark's large screen TV instead Yay. of watching in theaters because it um, came out a while ago. Yeah, and so it's on Blu-ray and DVD. Uh, so it was, it was a different viewing experience for me because I'm not used to high def TVs. And so you've heard that whole, like, it looks faker oh, if you're it not does. used to if it. If you're not used to it, I know <clears throat> that having a high def TV, right. yeah. And um, because of that, I think that contributed a little bit to this. But I think they used the same cameras through the entire movie. Because we were talking about it before, and Maybe. I was worried that the technology was upgrading faster than, you know, they were filming. And so I was worried that there was going to be all of a sudden beautiful, super high def picture over the, you know, 2002, 2003 cameras they were using before. Yeah. Um, but I think they used the same cameras the whole way through because I didn't even notice. No, I didn't um, notice either. But some brave cinematography, um, <clears throat> a lot of handheld shots, which I usually appreciate. Good, um, hand- not crappy handheld shots, not lazy handheld shots. They actually went off really good. It wasn't like... Shaky. Shaky no, cam was, bullshit. No, they were using some kind of a harness, I bet. I not saying that like shaky cam's right always bad, but... Well, I disagree. Um, I hate shaky cam. Marco Perella. Marco Perella, the guy who Did the uh, Bill, Bill, and uh, I thought when I was halfway through this, Bill was a, a, a character, if you guys see it, he, he, he's <clears> pretty prevalent in the first half and you never see him again. When I was first watching this, I already knew that uh, Ethan Hawke got Best Supporting Actor nomination. 
and I'm not going to say he doesn't deserve it, but I was like, you know, if anyone's getting best supporting actor for me so far halfway through, it was Bill. Because he was knocking <clears throat> out these really good scenes that were, like, moving me. But they weren't deep, though. Uh, and that's something that I'm going to harp on a lot in actors, is when their performances are, are they have a wide emotional range, like we talked about with yeah. Foxcatcher. Um, but it's not, it's, it's like they're performing it well as it's written in the script, but they're not providing any, providing any background support. I, for I know. It. I think for Bill specifically, I might have to disagree with you only because if I could tell when somebody just reading lines and I go off and whatever, oh, right, right. but, but he literally, he brought back all these emotions from my childhood in the way his demeanor was when he was dealing with this alcoholism and, and well, that and kind people... of shit. And some people, some people are just drunk, mean people. Just, just <laughs> yeah, I know, but this dude who might not be, he's not a drunk, mean person. He might be, but he mm, still portrayed it really well. No, I mean the I'm character. Doing. The character. Yeah, yeah. There I'm, might not be a whole lot to his being an asshole. Okay. Is what I'm saying. I was saying. Was I'm, I'm giving the actor the benefit of the doubt that, that there, are, there are people out there that this could be based on who are just drunk, mean people. Yeah. Um, I've... I've met plenty of drunk mean people. <laughs> uh, the storyline um, was was good. Um, I'm I'm gonna get into it a little bit in my negatives as well, but the storyline was good um, for what the film was mm -hmm. for being shot over twelve years. Shot over twelve years. Um, I'm gonna get into that too. Yeah, and that's that pretty much does it for my for my positives. Okay. Uh, I'm, I'm sure since you didn't mention them, uh, you might mention it later. I think the acting uh, for most of the cast was good enough that I didn't hate it. Uh, definitely when it comes to these people, there were no-name actors who worked for 12 years, especially the lead. And it, it, I, th I think he did his part really well. And same with uh, his uh, chick who played his sister, I believe is uh, Linklater's uh, daughter. They have the same last name. That's what I was guessing. She also, I thought, was good enough. They didn't completely blow me away, but... I, I definitely didn't hate myself. I know bad acting when I see it, and I wouldn't consider that bad acting. Now, for other stuff, I agree. Bill, I thought, was really great. Patricia Arquette, I thought, was really good, too. And uh, Ethan Hawke. Now, what I thought about Ethan Hawke is at the beginning of the movie, when the way it sets up, he's this uh, ex-dad. He's the, he's the biological dad who's not there, out of the picture dad. And I've seen enough movies. That's our cat, if you hear it. Uh, I've seen enough movies where that dad is an asshole and that dad oh he's gonna be probably the big protagonist and he's gonna be a jerk they didn't go that way and i thought they were gonna go that way and you even said it like man i want i'm rooting for hawk and i was too is his his portrayal and also how that character is written was in my opinion very real and how the I've, kids see him yeah and how the kids see him i've met that guy i've met that guy when i was growing up and that, it felt like a lot of these characters were plucked from my life. I'm not saying that my life was a lot like the life in this, but it definitely had its similarities. And it, it, it brought back all these old emotions, and that was really good. Um, now, when it comes to, uh, I think directing was great. Uh, it's it as good as Linklater's gotten. It reminds me a lot of his other stuff. He is very dialogue-heavy, uh, subtle like experimental shots but not so much that it bugs you like yesterday with fox catcher it's not like he did every scene he was trying to make this great amazing he he did it when he needed to i remember there was uh there was a few cool shots with like the car and how they were filming things that i really enjoyed um you're the shot guy i'm not uh i didn't mean shots like this i meant camera shots cinematography, uh, cinematography guy uh now that i don't love cinematography i just don't notice it as much as you do um and then I think my other positive is I'm going to defend a possible negative. Uh, the the uh, story isn't exactly 100% cohesive. What I mean is <clears throat> what's going on at the beginning is not even... It, it's almost like we watched a miniseries. It's two and a half hours and it's like we watched six episodes of something. And I will defend that. And that, it, it, I wouldn't say it's really bad. It didn't take me out of the story. I don't know if it took you out, but, but this, this aging, this time, what I'm saying is since it was filmed over 12 years, you have to forgive it. But on another forgiving, because it's really hard to set up a scene that you're going to film 10 years from now. It's really hard to get these characters set up 
so you can feel hey, that's crazy. Uh, but also, it doesn't. What I love about this movie, it isn't. It isn't a movie about a thing. It isn't like this is a movie about the bank heist. Right. This is a movie about. This, this is a movie. This, of this wasn't really. This wasn't the movie about a boy growing up around nine eleven. Yeah, yeah, nothing. nothing. Like it's, it's not a movie about anything, and that's what I really liked. Is it's it's my life, your life, his life. It's it's somebody aging. It's, it's pointing out that it's it's one of those movies that really points out individual humanism. Yeah, where yeah. Um, where it it's a very specific type of art form that's been gaining in popularity, which I love. But it's pointing out the uniqueness in every single individual. And it's taking away that whole groupthink mentality that we've been getting yeah. ingrained with. Especially if you live in a large metropolitan area or you move from a smaller place to a bigger place, you start to realize how much like ants we are. Yeah. And movies like this really take that away and start to reinsert, hey, everyone is a person. Everyone yeah. has the same consciousness you do. And everybody has their own experience. And their life may have not been eventful, but it's not boring. Yeah. In... in uh, another positive <clears throat> is I was getting mad at a lot of the scenes and a lot of the characters... And that's because it was really, in my opinion, really well done. There's like the end when he makes it to college and the conversations they're having. I wanted to shoot myself <laughs> because you know those conversations <laughs> that everyone has as a freshman in college. Angst. These, these pretending to be existential shit. They haven't had any classes in philosophy yet, but they think they're experts in it because they're 18 and they because moved out they're of their learning out the world. So they're. Uh, you know, we're changed by... What does she say? Like, like uh, they, they say seize the moment. I think, I think it's the, the other way around. I think the moment seizes you. You know how many times I've heard somebody actually say that? Those exact words. Those exact words. Now, that was great because if I'm watching a movie, I'm like, okay, that was a bad line. But a lot of life is bad lines. Yeah. You'll be at a college party and people are reading a bad fucking script of reality. <laughs> you know, And that's what I really enjoyed. And then also there's a scene of these... Preteens and teenagers all asking, "Oh, you got any pussy yet?" Da, da, da. It's That's, not about what she wants; it's about what you yeah, want. It's not about what she wants. You, you take uh, it like a man. Uh, and then that's, I'm like, okay, this is a really bad scene, and I hate everyone in this. I've had that conversation. I've been in that abandoned building, hanging out with my friends, pretending we've all got laid when I was 13, and I was lame because I didn't. Have you that. didn't have those. But that's what I've what's that's what I've decided. Is originally these scenes I was like these are bad written, but no, they're realistic. Yeah, because this shit is bad. <laughs> or that bully scene with a oh yeah the bully scene faggot. too. Yeah, fuck you, you're yeah, an asshole. Fuck you, oh, we're bullies. And yeah, I've had that. That's happened to me too. <laughs> that's like every day of my life, and that. So I guess what I just boiled down to was script really good. <laughs> <laughs> I think that's um, what that boiled negatives. down to. Negatives, go ahead, sorry. Um, my biggest negative in this entire film was the uh, the extras and the supporting cast, like the farther removed supporting I'm, cast. I'm with you on extras. Um, Some of the supporting cast I thought was good. But... I didn't like um, the boy, the main boy, uh, who's the central character of the entire movie. I did not care for his acting. Um, I Just in general. And, you know, it's really tacky for a critic to just say, didn't like his acting because it's so unspecific, but he was, he seemed really passive and lethargic, like the whole movie. And I mean, that's a character choice, but show me it's a character choice. Yeah. Um, um, don't show that it's a character or it's an actor mannerism bleeding through his character. Also, you know, he also has a big, a big stack on his plate. He's never really been an actor before, right. and he's been playing characters since he was, what, and, eight years old. And and child actors, I mean, they're children. They don't have the experience that adult actors have, yeah. but that's not to say there aren't great And then once actors. he, maybe he figured out how to be a much better actor by the end of the movie, but he can't really change his character yet. Mm. I don't know. That's I don't know. what I was there, thinking. I just, my opinion is that he the was, acting was bad. I, I'm um, going to say the character was soft. The character was soft. And, and that's... Um, a lot of the minor characters that show up, like Obama Mama, who is actually credited as I love Obama, Obama Mama. Mama was the character. Yeah. It's a chick who really wanted Obama to get she elected. She was probably the worst part of the movie. <laughs> um, I liked, I liked her polar opposite. I liked the no Obama guy. Yeah. Because I've had conversations Do with I those Do I look anti- like a boy that'll, uh, guy that'll vote for Obama's son? B- B- Obama Hussein Obama? I shoot you. Barack, Barack Hussein, Hussein Obama. Obama. I've had um, so many people call yeah. him that, and it's like, oh, I Jesus. get it. He's you, a Muslim. Yeah. Um, 
<laughs> You're dumb if you think that, by the way. <laughs> I'm taking, I, like, we're not political on this show very much, but I'm saying that if you think that Obama's a Muslim because of his middle name, you're a dumbass. Yeah. My little um, name's uh, Anthony, which makes me Mark Anthony. It actually makes me a Latino pop oh, star. Jesus. Yeah, no, that's true. But I like to bring or, that up. They're like, his middle name's Hussein. We have to judge him on that. I'm like, my you're middle name's Anthony. Roman traitor. Yeah. Or, but this has right. nothing to do with the movie. But anyway, the point is, um, yeah, b- bad actors. Um, Those also, extras, yeah. Um, as my, I said, the plot was good. Uh, Could have been better though, and it, that's actually negative for me. I'm, I think I think yeah, that this I'm movie stands on the gimmick, and I'm calling it a gimmick that it's a 12 year in progress movie. It's standing on that gimmick. It's a freaking great gimmick. Yeah, g- gimmick seems Man. like a, a hard word, but we're not meaning it, it in a well, hard way. I'm this using is it, a gimmick. I'm but. trying to be harsh here <laughs> um, because it is a great film. This film is great, and you're gonna be surprised by my rating. I'm telling you right now, so look forward to it. Um, but uh, the the script could have been better because I went into it knowing it and trying to like give it a chance. But I still got the feeling that they were wrapping around, they were wrapping a script around twelve years of shooting, and I was very aware of it through most of the movie. Yeah. Um, Again, it would be really hard not <clears throat> to do right. that. And uh, I think that there could have been elements of it that were done better. I think that there could have been a little bit more I, interesting things. I think to since this man, is, but that would have been fake. I think since so. It's a it's a negative and a positive, and for a good reason. Um, and you can get into that in your negatives. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> um, it's really long. This movie is so long. It's 166 minutes. And it feels like it. It feels like it. Um, that's another thing, that's is this movie feels long. And that's because it has, like, five arcs. Mm-hmm. It's the, what they set up in the beginning doesn't get ended at the end. It gets ended the next few years, and it's like, boop, 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 boop. And, and again, it would be really hard to film something that yeah. does that in 12 years. But, yeah, you definitely notice um, a, a really subtle negative that isn't really, it's, this is me being picky. Uh-huh. Um, the fact that, uh, Patricia Arquette, she ages inconsistently. Yeah. <laughs> she ages weirdly. Yeah. And, um, <laughs> no offense. She, she gets, Arquette. she looks older and then in the next jump, she looks younger than she looks. She looks really time. good yeah. towards the end and um, then she drops and again. And <laughs> I don't, I didn't do, I didn't even look it up. You said to look it up. I didn't look it up, but it looks like she's having children during the shooting of this movie. Like she I'm pretty sure she was pregnant during some of the scenes. Maybe. Yeah, no, I'd I say think she was. Uh, if she wasn't, then I'm a jerk and I just called a woman who had gained a little bit of weight pregnant and that makes me a jerk. But, <laughs> Sexist jerk. Yeah, whatever. <laughs> <laughs> but she but I'd also think that would tie into her aging inconsistently too because when you when you have children you do age. Yeah. And then if you get back in shape, get back in shape, you do age. you you regress a little bit. Yeah, yeah. Um so reverse age. Yeah. And take do with that information what you will. I'm just saying that it it did make me conscious of the fact that it was a movie because I was like did they even put makeup on her to make her look older and then decide not to do that in the next shot or what happened but anyway that's it for my negatives yeah, we're not running, that many we're running a little out of time and I got one more thing to say I'm gonna say I don't really have a lot of negatives that he didn't cover I actually agree with a lot of your negatives uh, the inconsistency and the length you definitely notice but I'm giving it that pass uh, cause cause this movie is so you know gro- it was, it's groundbreaking the way it's filled and that's really great <clears throat> Uh, I'm not going to say it's best picture, but I'm definitely going to say it's a good movie and it's worth a watch. Uh, I wish now it's a little hard to follow is another thing is it, it does leave a lot for us like, Oh wait, what happened in this last time jump? She's not with this guy anymore. Wait, she married this guy. Uh, what? And I wish they were a little clearer on that. And that's my other negative. And then I'm going to say one more thing. It's neither a negative or a positive. I think that this movie being the first one that did this, if other directors start adopting this, I think he paved the ground. And I think mm. we're going to get a few, especially the bigger name directors. I think we're going to have quite a bit of these big name directors do 10 minute or 10 year shootings. Uh, and those movies are going to be a lot better because I feel like he paved yeah. the ground and it was really hard for him to do it. Well, he did a also, lot of work. This is the first like big budget example of this. It's yeah. been done before. It's probably but, done before, um, yeah. But it is it is a great example to follow. For, yeah, for and Mr. I think Hollywood. that people are going to stand on his shoulders <clears throat> and make really good movies. And this is a really <laughs> good movie, but I think that if somebody of a great mind takes his notes and then does a movie on that, like if a Scorsese does a movie like this, I think that would be an amazing feat and it wouldn't have been able to be done without this movie right and i really loved (laughs) this movie uh so let's get to our ratings all right i gave this movie eight texas flags out of ten 
Um, and the reason I chose Texas Flags for my quantity is because Texas. Um, this movie takes place in Houston, Austin, San Marcos, which I lived for a year, hence the uh, TSU hat. Um, and yeah. he's like, I know that place. And I know they, that place. They, yeah, they they actually showed locations I've been to, which was really cool to see. Yeah, yeah um, I'm jealous. And I uh, actually, there was a moment where they did the Texas pledge yeah which i didn't know was a thing I you know either. how we have to pledge allegiance to a flag in texas they have to pledge allegiance to the american flag and then turn and pledge allegiance to, to the, the texas, texas flag. flag and i didn't know that was an actual thing i, I didn't know that was a thing uh, shout out to my friend taylor mudd who i texted and asked her if that's a real thing and she said yeah we totally did that and they still do that in elementary <laughs> schools where i grew that up. explains texas pride yeah no wonder why everyone cool, hates north dakota we no, didn't I, have to do that it shit. was cool to see a movie that takes place so much in texas and to see yep. so much texas countryside and stuff but, uh me good movie i'm giving it his exact rating. 8 out of 10 progressively aging faces. <laughs> Starts here. <laughs> and then the Gan- oldest one. Gandalf. <laughs> Gandalf at the end. They, he jumped from like 25 to Gandalf. Uh, <laughs> which I'll look like Gandalf next <clears throat> for, next review. Um, okay, yeah. Uh, 8 out of 10. I, I would have given it a little bit more, but I gave it an 8. Uh, so... Like we said, like, subscribe, blah, 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 comment, and um, above all... Have a good day and uh, go buy Parenthood for 15 bucks at Walmart yeah. if you want. See or this- Boyhood. Yeah. Sorry, go buy Boyhood. See Boyhood, definitely. Bye! Bye.